Welcome to the latest episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be introducing our fanless Zotac GeForce 9500 GT Zone Edition. Inside the box, you'll find the Zotac GeForce 9500 GT Zone Edition graphics card with dual dual link DVI and TV outputs. The graphics card also features a silent passive cooler that does not have a fan. Bundled with the graphics card is a DVI to VGA adapter, a DVI to HDMI adapter with audio, a SPDIF audio input cable to route audio through HDMI, and a TV output dongle featuring component and S-Video outputs. To demonstrate the performance of the graphics card, we'll be installing it in our mainstream system featuring a Zotac GeForce 8300 motherboard, an AMD Phenom X4 9550 processor, 2 gigs of Patriot DDR3 memory, and a Western Digital Caviar hard drive. Zotac recommends a minimum 350 watt power supply for single card operation and 600 watt power supply for SLI operation. The Zotac GeForce 9500 GT Zone Edition is an affordable graphics card featuring 32 stream processors and 512 megabytes of GDDR3 memory technology. We'll be demonstrating the performance of the card using the games Crisis and Grid. In a demanding game such as Crisis, you can expect around 26 frames per second at a resolution of 1024 by 768 with medium quality settings and no anti-aliasing. In a game such as Grid, you can expect around 47 frames per second at a resolution of 1024 by 768 with medium quality settings and two times anti-aliasing. And that concludes this episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Thank you for joining us.